Hi guys, so I'm on a different computer right now because I recorded the part that I've seen next a few days ago. And uh, basically what happened was uh, I had an issue where um, I the, US, the, the device only has one USB port and it is, uh, um, and, I, and I had these keyboard and mouse and I also try using the keyboard I have uh, for the keyboard I have for my uh, for my um for 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 the Mac I'm on now, and I plug in the mouse in there. I tried plugging it plugging in the flash drive, and the problem was it um wasn't reading because it was a USB B one because it was a USB one um flat flat flash drive. So basically, after that. I ended up uh, getting the um, computer um, set up at, with Windows 10 Home, and it just did not work properly. Um, I had to use TeamViewer. I tried wrapper, the RDP wrapper. RDP wrapper did not work. It just basically, it was supposed to work, but it basically aired out and basically not worked like how I wanted because I could remote desktop in because I could actually get to the remote desktop screen and it would detect it but it would say access tonight meaning it didn't have administrative rights and so to actually access it or it just didn't have access to actually that software to work and so after that I basically this was to today after a few days of having it I decided TeamViewer is the one that I wanted to like use Use for this, so I was thinking, why isn't my I got unplugged the, the USB hub from my flash drive, I mean, I mean, USB hub from my, my main computer, and plugged into there. It worked. It detected the mouse and keyboard at the same exact time. But the problem was, excuse me, the problem was that um, it wouldn't detect my flash drive. I thought, what could be the issue? So then I went into Windows after getting it to. Um, detect the flash drive, which it did. I tried click, click, clicking the setup button. It says this software does not work. And so basically, I spent too much time trying to get this to actually work. And uh, um, it just ended up, I ended up figuring out I had to do some stuff to get to work. I'm going to show that in another video on how I got that to work. So, okay, now on to the main part of the video. Thanks for watching um, this so far. Bye. Guys, so this video is brought to you by Sweetwater, and uh, all the gear in here in these videos that you see are sent to by Sweetwater and nothing they're not reviewing the video so so if you want the gear just check out sweetwater link in the description or it's just sweetwater.com and continue the video hi guys so i'm doing an unboxing um i was just testing how, how the camera angle is because it's going to be my camera in here so um this is uh, the angle um it's i probably should move it over left or right i don't know it's at the perfect angle for actually me so I'm gonna unbox this, which is a um it's the Z Box, it's Zotex Z Box P series P1223 Pico. And what I wanna do with it is use it as a um server. And so I just got this in the mail. Um the, this is my first time unboxing a Zotex product, so I don't really know what's what's good what it comes with. It comes with a manual and it looks like a CD. Yeah, who uses CDs anymore? So the CD is a USB or used with license Z-Box main PC. Um, it's, an, it's an OEM activation required for Windows 10 Home. I don't know if I have to install an OS on here, but it is uh, the mini PC drivers. It has a 
it has a box, it has a power cable box for, for this thing. So, US power, power brick. It has a um, UK, I think, or Europe, and then another Europe right here. Sorry about that. It has a US as an HDMI extension right here. I actually was going to get one of those. Also, it has a, another one, which is the two prong Europe one. It has a antenna and also has a USB cable, a uh, mini B, it's micro USB to USB A, and then it has the computer itself. I'm gonna pause it right now, set it up, and do my test. And uh, um, this is just what the PC looks like it has USB A on one side, and so. I'm gonna have to hook up uh, a USB keyboard. Well, I'm gonna have to actually get the USB hub. Probably, I don't know. Oh, I can hook this. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is hook this to my Mac and then my actual Mac keyboard and then Bush has a USB port on there, U U USB hub. Ironically, I'm glad I have that because I don't have a USB hub. This is passive, it has a it has bar button, has ethernet, it also has, um, it also has um, my micro B power, uh, what's this thing called? It has um, antenna and micro SD card. So micro SD, and the uh, power over here, Ethernet and the USB 3.0. Power button is right here. And so, yeah, I'm gonna plug this over here, get some power to it and then test it and then tell you what it's like. Okay, so let me pause real quick. So, after hours of testing, um, it literally um, didn't get very, very much hot, but you can get this thing on eBay for about 100 bucks. And depending on which one to use it for, if you want to use it, use it for a machine to hook to a, com to, 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 to hook to a monitor to have as just a single machine to, to have a all-in-one PC. You could put this onto the back of a monitor hook up a USB hub and make sure, or make sure the monitor actually has a USB hub, hub that built that so there, plug in the USB 3 cable to so up there, hook up your external storage, your mouse keyboard, and then hook the Ethernet talk gear, and then you have an all-in-one machine right here. Or you could plug in this into the back of a TV, hook, hook up Wi-Fi, and uh, do actually that. It also has, it also can take a one terabyte or higher micro SD card, but there's only one terabyte out right now. So, um, it's metal and, uh, it's, it's, I, I'm, so once I do set this up, I, I mean, once I do f set this where I want it at, I'm going to plug in a USB power cable that will chart that will turn that will run a fan off the usb port and since it's basically just gonna sit on the shelf that's all it's gonna be pretty much so um what i i would definitely buy this computer again it's cheap and um it has a um it's gonna be doing well for what I needed to do, so um, it has a cell around in here, four gigs of DDR of of DDR three L, and since I don't need much uh, speed, this this has sixty four gigabytes of. Uh, 
of of actually storage and uh, it has Wi-Fi 5 so um thanks for watching uh bye hey guys thanks for watching so go down in the description and there is contact information if you need a consultant or anything check my my second channel subscribe to there too check out my blog my email address is in there too so